Long ago, humans and Pokémon had not yet learned to coexist. This land is the Hisui region. It will come to be known as the Sinnoh region. And at this time, the ecology of its wild Pokémon remains unknown. Therefore, many people still fear Pokémon. And such people live together in Jubilife Village, where this story begins. Your goal is to research the Pokémon of this region. As a member of the Galaxy Expedition Team, an organization dedicated to studying this land, you will strive to complete the first Pokédex in the region. Research begins at a base camp from which you'll embark on excursions. You can catch wild Pokémon with Pokéballs. Be warned, not every Pokémon is so easy to catch. In such an event, one option is to challenge them to a battle. Command your Pokémon to weaken the opponent, and it should be easier to catch. Pokémon behaviors vary in the Hisui region. They may live in groups, or they may flee upon sensing your presence. The aggressive sort will attack without hesitation. Some are much more powerful than you. If danger comes your way, run. It's quite the important research tip. Back at your base camp, you can let your team of Pokémon recover their health. Professor Laventon, a researcher on the Galaxy Expedition Team, will provide research support. Report back to the professor with any and all research, and the information will be entered into the Pokédex. There are various research tasks of note, including number caught and times you've seen it use moves. As you fulfill these tasks, such entries will populate. The central hub for your research is Jubilife Village. It's a great place to prepare for excursions. Visit the general store where you can purchase items with in-game currency. Or head to the craftworks to craft using the materials you've gathered. The Pokémon you've caught can be left at pastures. The clothier and hairdresser let you customize your clothing and and your hairstyle as well. When you feel like it, head to the photography studio to take pictures with your Pokémon. <laughs> Jubilife Village is also home to the headquarters of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Alongside Commander Komodo and Captain Silene, you will carry out Pokémon research and survey missions. In doing so, you will grow as a team member and eventually explore new areas of the region. Certain Pokémon with special powers will allow you to ride them. With the aid of your Pokémon, your research will take you to greater areas of the region. Eventually, you will come to learn about noble Pokémon, respected by the people of Hisui. Frenzied by a mysterious power, these Pokémon will stand up against you. For just such an occasion, special bombs have been created to calm them. Dodge powerful attacks and create opportunities to challenge it to Pokémon battles. Quell the noble Pokémon through various methods. Vast 
lands and wild threats await you. And what is the mythical Pokémon Arceus? The story of humans and Pokémon begins right here in the Hisui region. Aspiring photographers, welcome to the Lentil region. You'll find a vast array of islands with various natural environments, from dense jungles packed with lush trees to vast, scorching deserts. Many wild Pokémon call these islands their home. Let's have a glimpse into these fascinating areas. You'll discover that wild Pokémon have different group behaviors. Oh, aren't they having a delightful time? Those ones appear to be highly protective of their territory. Here in front of this waterfall, a Venusaur is enjoying basking in the sun. Two Sobble are nearby, enticed by the scent of Venusaur's flower. Look, this Sobble playfully spray water on Venusaur and its flower. Venusaur certainly seems to be having a good time. In the warm, shallow waters of the Lentil Seafloor dwell schools of Love Disc, Mantine, Finneon, and Alomomola, all swimming gracefully. Love Disc reside within the coral reef and have already picked their favorite resting spot, right between Corsola's branches. That sure does look comfortable. A flock of drift limbs soar against the stunning backdrop of the Maricopia Reef. Look closely, and you can spot a drift blim in the group holding a clam pearl. They appear to be getting along famously and enjoying a flight through the skies. Oh, what's this? Drift blim returned clam pearl to its friends. That drift blim seems to be a gentle Pokémon. Pokémon can act differently when the sun goes down. Some may be curled up sleeping peacefully and adorably, might I add, while others might become more active. Let's take a look at how Pokémon behave at night. Here, we see a herd of Bufalant snoozing quite soundly. Oh, a score bunny is running around. I'm a bit worried it might wake Bufalant. The desert sky at night is breathtaking. Look up and you may see shooting stars. Oh, here's one that just fell right in front of us. Why, it's a Minior! This Pokémon's shell shattered when it collided with the ground, revealing its core. Truly a magical sight to behold, isn't it? The trunk of this large tree contains a nest of two cannon. They live nestled closely together, as they are known for forming harmonious couples. Zoom in on the nests, and you'll see that they're resting together with Picky Peck. Nighttime really brings out all sorts of charming moments in this lush ecosystem. Here in their natural habitat, Pokémon exhibit their instinctive behaviors. You might bear witness to the harsh and at times unexpected demeanors of certain Pokémon. Case in point, watch as they lay claim to territory. Chinchow called this beautiful seabed of shining moss their home. They lure other Pokémon with their two glowing antenna, then send electrical currents from the tips of their antenna to paralyze their prey. Inkay, for instance, was drawn to the light, but instead of falling victim, it made Chinchow fall asleep with hypnosis. Sharpedo swim around freely, shooting jets of water as they maneuver through the ocean. Oh dear, that Sharpedo is chasing Squirtle! I do hope it'll be all right. Ah, just in time! A Lapras has come to its rescue! What a kind gesture from the Lapras! That'll teach Sharpedo! A nighttime battle is taking place between Zangoose and Seviper on Blushing Beach! Which Pokémon will prevail? 
Zangoose with its razor sharp claws? Or Seviper with its sword like tail? There seems to be no end in sight for this feud that has lasted for generations. These are but a few of the Pokémon habitats you may come across while you're traveling through the Lentil region. What other discoveries might you unearth as you're exploring? A breathtaking land. Fierce competition. New friendships. What will you discover in your new adventure in the Galar region? In the Galar region, you can find a scenic countryside, modern cities, and majestic landscapes with grassy fields and snowy mountains. Your journey to becoming a champion starts with choosing your partner Pokemon. You'll meet newly discovered Pokemon throughout your adventure. Yamper generates electricity as it runs around chasing people and Pokemon. If Cramorant gets its hands and mouth on a catch, watch out for a counterattack. Despite being made of durable metal, Duraludon's body is surprisingly light. Sweet Tooths beware! Alchemy's sweet scented cream makes opponents lose the will to battle. Sir Fetched can charge forward with its devastatingly powerful signature move, Meteor Assault. Of course, familiar Pokémon also live in the Galar region. And some have even taken on surprising new forms. The Pokémon you catch will prove to be dependable partners in battle. Trainers in the Galar region are eager to battle, so be on the lookout for trainers just waiting to challenge you. You'll battle some tough rivals as you grow as a trainer. You'll also visit Pokémon Gyms in the Galar region. Here, you can test your strength against mighty gym leaders, who you must battle on your journey to become a champion. The wild area in the Gala region is a sprawling expanse where you can find Pokémon in a variety of natural habitats. The Pokémon you encounter can change depending on location and weather in the wild area. You may discover something new each time you visit. In certain locations in the Gala region, Pokémon can Dynamax, a phenomenon that increases their size and power. In the wild area, Join forces with three other trainers to take on Dynamax Pokémon in Max Raid battles. Wow, these Dynamax Pokémon are super strong. But luckily, your own Pokémon can Dynamax, making for some larger-than-life battles. Once the opposing Dynamax Pokémon is defeated, it's time to catch it. There are more ways to enjoy life in the Galar region than just catching and battling. Want to be fashion forward? You can choose an outfit that suits your personal style. You can also change up your hairdo or try out some makeup. The Galar region is your runway as you debut new outfits and styles throughout your adventure. With Poke Jobs, you can pick a Pokémon from your box and send it out to complete an available job. Your Pokémon will help out with the job, and the experience will even help them grow. While you're out exploring the Galar region, don't forget to make time to relax. You can set up a Pokémon camp to enjoy a peaceful moment with the Pokémon in your party. Bond with your Pokémon by playing with a toy, tossing a ball, 
Oh, and wait a minute. Make curry? That's right. Pokemon love curry too. Pokemon trainers in the Galar region have league cards, which can be customized with some personal flair. Pick a background, a frame, then strike a pose. A grand adventure awaits you and your Pokémon! Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield. Set off on a grand adventure with Pokémon through the Sinnoh region. Pokémon Brilliant Diamond and Pokémon Shining Pearl. You'll first travel to a nearby lake alongside your childhood friend. A Pokémon encounter waits for you there. Once Professor Rowan, a Pokémon researcher, recruits you to complete the Pokédex, your adventure begins. This is the Sinnoh region. Comprised of expansive mountain ranges, grassy fields, bountiful lakes, mountain paths, and snow-laden trails, Sinnoh is a land both rich and rugged in nature. Various Pokémon inhabit the Sinnoh region. Depending on the location, the Pokémon that appear will differ. In turn-based battles, you'll select moves for your Pokémon to use against opponents. You win once your opponent's HP drops to zero. Once the opponent is weakened, you can throw a Pokéball for a chance to catch it. Battle together with your partner Pokémon, and they'll become great allies you can rely on. Throughout the Sinnoh region, you'll have the chance to battle other Pokémon trainers. Periodically, you'll meet trainers who will team up with you. As you level up your skills, you can challenge each town's gym leader standing in your way. Gym leaders are powerful trainers specializing in a certain type of Pokémon. If you defeat them in battle, you'll receive a gym badge as proof of your victory. Strive to become the strongest Pokémon trainer in the Sinnoh region! During your adventure, you can enter the Grand Underground from the field. The Grand Underground is a vast subterranean world beneath the entire Sinnoh region. By using a sledgehammer and a pickaxe to dig into walls, you might unearth valuable items and Pokémon statues. You can also build your very own secret base. There are also places called Pokémon Hideaways. Here, you may encounter uncommon Pokémon living in a variety of habitats. Put on a show with your Pokémon in Super Contest Shows. Dress up in your favorite outfit. Dance by tapping along to the rhythm and appeal to the judges with a contest move. If you're chosen as star of the show, you'll be rewarded with stickers, which can be used to customize your Pokeballs with special effects. The Poketch is a handy gadget for your travels. 
The pedometer and the dousing machine are just a couple of useful apps on this device. You'll get more apps as you continue your adventure through the Sinnoh region. With local and online play, you can battle and trade Pokémon with other trainers. Enjoy connecting with trainers near and far. Sinnoh is a land of many myths passed down through the ages. There's also the mysterious organization Team Galactic, who's up to some audacious activities. And the legendary Pokémon are closely connected to how your adventure will unfold. There's even more waiting for you in the Sinnoh region.